Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this Nissan Note 2014 automatic and I'm just going to be changing the transmission fluid in it. Um, in this video I'm not going to change the, the filter or strainer but uh, I'll just do a transmission fluid change. Um, now in this one to refill the uh, the oil i'm going to refill it from up here but um there is a uh, that opening there so that opening there is like uh it's for um like a filler dipstick kind of thing to check the amount of fluid um so this little cover is on it that is sitting on it and you need to remove it it's a bit of a pain in the ass to remove it because you need to basically open that clip in there you can see that clip and then this comes out but um it is it is a bit fiddly because there is a bit of metal that goes in here and it kind of obstructs you from pushing that pin so the way I did it was um, basically with one of this I got that in there in in oops sorry I got my tool just in there while this was in in obviously in the in there in the engine and push the clip and pull this up a little bit you can only put it a little you can only pull it up a little bit because then you have uh, this the, the metal clamp where this is clamped onto is there so it obstructs the tool so once you push this and got it up a little bit you have to remove this um, and then after that I was able to get this with my hand in there and uh, sort of twist the screwdriver like this and that put pressure on the clip and it, the clip bend a little bit so as I was saying got it in there like that twist it that opened the, the little clip there because you're twisting it against the bit of metal that's coming up here in which this is clipped onto um, but there but at the same time as you're pushing that you need to get your hand on that and pull it up so it is a bit of a fiddle and a pain in the ass but eventually it does come out um, I warmed up the engine to normal running temperature and now I'm gonna get the car up and drain the transmission fluid. Okay, got the car up. So on this side we have our transmission and uh, transmission pan here and the bolt that which I already undone. It's a 19 mil. So you can open that and uh, you may notice that this part is a slightly, this is the higher part from this end. Um, so not all the fluid will come out. Um, anyway, what the way I'm doing it is I'm going to measure the amount that comes out and just refill the same amount. Um, uh, the reason I'm changing the strainer really is because uh, I haven't um, been able to order it in time and um, just running out of uh, I won't be able to do it this weekend so I'm gonna do an oil change in it but um, next year I'll possibly do the strainer on it so I'm gonna let that drain as much as whatever it drains and then see how much it comes out I've got an empty container here which I usually use for measuring how much it comes out and then uh, fill the same amount so I'm gonna let it drain now 
Okay, that's pretty much drained as much as possible. Uh, now I'm just gonna refit this plug in there. This 17 mil, I mean 19 mil volt, and uh, just take this oil out. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm going to open this oil pan lots of 10 mil bolts there um, and drain the oil that's in there uh, so we can get also the I'm gonna get the strainer out and just give it everything a clean and put it all back um, ideally maybe you want to fit a new strainer so but in this case I don't have the strainer as I said so I'm just going to give it a good clean and again I'm measuring how much oil comes out of there so I'm gonna get an, a, an oil pan here so I can catch the oil that comes out of here Strainer is out, everything is out, fluid is in there, and um, now I'm gonna pour this whatever amounts are in here into my container and then give this a good clean. You can see the these magnets here are quite uh, dirty, so I want to clean this properly before I repeat anything and uh, just uh, watch out for this o-ring that little o-ring sometimes stays in the transmission so you can take it out pick it out and put it in there but we're gonna give all of this a nice clean I'm gonna rinse it all with some uh, uh, brake cleaner so I'm gonna do that now okay gave that a good clean gave that a clean too um used my air gun to blow some air through here and also there was quite a bit of metal on these magnets these two things are magnets um so i spent a little bit of time cleaning them you can remove them from there by the way you can take them out to clean them and now we are pretty much ready to fit this back so refitting reversal of removal um so i'm just gonna get on with it so just a couple of things maybe um when you tighten these bolts this usually i haven't really checked the official um torque settings but um on mercedes and other cars that i've done it's no more than eight newton meters eight to nine newton meters and these usually are like 10 newton meters so don't break them don't damage them otherwise you just get, give yourself more problems Uh, 
Um, so like I said, I'm just going to get on with it. And um, then it will be just a matter of measuring how much oil I got and how much oil to fit back. Okay, as far as uh, draining the oil, cleaning the filter, and fitting it all back, uh, we're pretty much done here. Um, so I just tightened that as well, and all the terminal bolts. So now we can concentrate on putting some new oil, some CBT oil. Okay, got my oil. CVT fluid, this is the one I'm gonna use, and uh, I think I have five liters here. But um, what I measured, it's nearly four liters, so I'm gonna put in four liters. I've got this container here into the hole of the dipstick, so I'll just go ahead and pour four liters. Uh, might take a little while, so no point filming this, but uh, that's basically what I'm doing. Just pouring that in there through the hose into the dipstick hole, which will guide the fluid into the transmission. Okay, got the four liters in there. Um, now I can remove this hose from the filling hole. And then I can fit the little cover. Now the reason my battery is in here is because I'm actually changing the battery in the car. Not exactly anything to do with the transmission, but um, so that goes in there. Although having the battery out makes things a little bit easier. Gives you a little bit more room. Okay, nice in there. A 
little bit hard to push that little rubber there. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on it. Okay, just got some grease on that O-ring there. Make may make it a bit easier to push this in. It is going in, it's just, it is just a little bit hard. It's hard to take it out, it's hard to put it in, um, but, but it should be easier to push it back in there, so, <laughs> right. Um, may have to use my two hands, but it's just a matter of pushing it in, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, got my new battery in there. So the little cover was a bit of a pain in the ass to push in, but it's in there now. Right, now I'm just going to start the car and um, not drive it yet. Because I can't really drive it anyway because uh, I have to refit the drum at the back. <laughs> However, we can start it and just uh, run it through the gears. So the oil can go all around the transmission. Okay. Got it in reverse there. Just for a few seconds. Okay, I just have to be a little bit careful here because I've got no um, no drama at the back. So okay, so um, so you really are looking for not to have any. Uh, any bangs or any hard shifting basically uh, but to be honest the reason I am changing the transmission fluid is because every time I engage reverse I do have a little bit of a harsh shift into reverse um, and uh, that's that's all I've been getting uh, drive and L everything else is fine but when I engage gear I get a bit of a hard shift um, when, when engaging this. So that's why I originally changed the fluid. Um, and also you may have noticed that there is a gasket on the oil pan actually, um, or you may not have noticed actually, because when I removed the pan, the gasket was still on the actual um, transmission. So there was a tiny little gasket in between both i just didn't remove it i left it there uh, i just cleaned the surface of it um i'm gonna try to mention it at the beginning of the video so you know that there is a gasket so anyway after running it for a few seconds in each year here you can then go for a little test drive little noise there that was because I wasn't pressing the brake properly anyway um, now I'm gonna lift I'm gonna leave the car running and um, I'm gonna put the car up again and check that there's no oil leaks from the oil pan okay so just looking at the oil pan here from underneath um, everything 
looks fairly dry except this little corner here um, so I'm just gonna clean this a little bit and see if this it gets any any bit any wet or not um, because it could have been that that formed after I repeated this so ideally I'm just looking for it to be dry like this just dry all around so I'm just gonna clean that bit and check that these are tight well, not extremely tight obviously just uh, make sure that I did tighten and, uh, and that's it really okay I cleaned the area and I checked this these are okay there's no issues there um, so I'm gonna give you another five minutes or so and then check that again um, I don't think there should be any issues so as far as changing the transmission fluid um, that's pretty much it it's not, it's not really much to it uh, it just takes a little bit of time just have to take your time with these bolts and whatnot and be careful and, uh, and like I said there is a gasket in between here and obviously if you do have a leak somewhere um, you can't really tight this anymore they will just get damaged so the idea would be to actually change the gasket so if it's not a huge leak you could drive it for another for a year or so and then change your transmission fluid again and then put a new gasket um, it wouldn't be bad for the car anyway because when we drain the oil um, some of the oil actually stays in the torque converter as far as I'm aware so you don't really change that oil but the new oil here will mix with the torque converter oil and uh, if you change it next year then it's not a bad thing so anyway as far as that goes i think uh we're done here so i hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching